And here we have rationalizing a denominator using conjugates, the square root, and the numerator. So rationalizing the denominator, um, and so we have to use the conjugate of the denominator because that's the one where we want the radicals to go away. So the conjugate of this is going to be square root of 7, square root of 3, and instead of a minus, a plus sign. And whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do the same to the top. It just happens to be a coincidence that the top is the same thing, okay? But the mechanics of everything is going to work out the same as before. Difference here is that I have a binomial times a binomial on the top as well as a binomial times a binomial at the bottom. That means I'm going to have to FOIL both the numerator and I'm going to have to FOIL the denominator. So um, first I'm going to multiply these two. That gives me square root of 121. Then I'm going to multiply these two. That gives me the square root of 33. Then I'm going to multiply these two. That's the square root of 33 again. And then multiply these two. That's the square root of 9. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. So multiply these two, square root of 121. Multiply these two, square root of 33. Multiply these two, negative square root of 33. And multiply these two, negative square root of 9. And then I'm going to simplify this. So the square root of 121 is 11. Uh, square root of 33 does not simplify, but I have 1 here and another 1 there. So I actually have a positive 2 square root of 33s. And then the square root of 9 is just 3. Here we get 11. These cancel, and I get minus 3. If I add my, my constants here together, I get 14 plus 2 square root of 3, 33. And at the bottom, if I subtract that, I get 8. Now, 8 can reduce with these numbers that are outside the radical. So I will have to separate the fraction and reduce both fractions. So these I can reduce by 2, giving me 7 over 4. And these I can reduce by 2, giving me an, imagine, or an invisible 1 and a 4. But we know in formal math, we do not write the invisible 1 in there. So it just looks like this expression, 7 over 4 plus square root of 33 over 4.